Right, what we're going to do now is a marinated chicken breast, Italian style, obviously. What we're going to do is we're going to slice the garlic and we're going to turn this into like a paste. And we're going to use the corrosive texture of salt to turn it into a paste. We have to season the chicken breast anyway, so we might as well do it at the same time as we add the garlic. So if we just, just keep on gathering it and go again. Put it into the bowl. Get some olive oil. Okay. Get some chili. Roughly chopped. And it's also, once we've added the parsley, you've got the Holy Trinity. The red, white and green are the Italian flag, the red chilli, the white garlic and the green parsley. Then we've got some rosemary. And again, just chop them roughly just to release a bit of flavour. Bit of black pepper. Just always double check that you've, there's no gristle or any bits and pieces that you don't particularly want. Now what we're going to do is butterfly. Now if um, you place your hand on the top, you cut that way, that's if you're quite used to handling a knife. If not, there's a, a scraper you can put here hold the scraper into position and then just butterfly it, take the scraper away and then open up and butterfly the chicken breast. Just taking care always. The, once you've butterflied it, it should look like a heart. There you go, four chicken, butterfly chicken breasts. Right now, get a stainless steel tray. And what we'll do, we'll put two here. We'll put the marinade on top of the chicken breast. The colors are really shining through. The chili, the garlic olive oil, all the stuff the Mediterranean's famous for. Another one on top, another one on top. Put that away. Okay, now what we need to do is basically massage the meat with the marinade. The more you move the meat, the more the natural juices come out. In my time in the meat trade, they always used to put meat in tumblers when they wanted it to absorb different ingredients. Right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a fatless frying pan. Normally, what I do is two minutes, turn them, then another two minutes, turn them, and then another two minutes, turn them. Because it is chicken and we've gotta make sure it's cooked. So as you can see, it's cooking away there.
This is a simple dish that you can serve hot or cold, use it for sandwiches, cold chicken salads, whatever you want to do. Serve it with a nice rocket salad with shavings of parmesan, olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Fantastic. Turn this off. The proof of the pudding is in the easing. Look at that lovely, succulent chicken breast. Mmm. Superb.